Cancer is often treated as if it's one disease, but in reality, it's a multitude of diseases with every individual reacting differently to the disease and their respective treatments. Lo and behold, our journey towards precision medicine. This year at ASCO, the first nationwide oncology trial of its kind was announced where a thousand patients across the United States will be enrolled to determine whether their tumor samples contain genetic mutations for which a targeted drug exists and assign treatments based on those specific mutations. Known as the Molecular Analysis for Therapy Choice, or MATCH trial from the NCI, this program is utilizing next-generation sequencing technology to screen biopsy samples to search for changes in driver genes using a custom gene sequencing panel. Such a program has tremendous potential to transform the future of cancer care. And that is just one of the many sequencing moments that mattered in 2015. Speaking of cancers, tumors are made up of many different cell populations. As a potential alternative to solid tissue biopsy, circulating tumor cells or tumor DNA can help understand tumor composition. A comprehensive single end-to-end -end liquid biopsy workflow allows scientists to isolate and study circulating tumor cells, cell-free DNA, and germline cells. Such a complete workflow will better help us understand and study peripheral blood monitoring in cancer samples. And before we go any further, let's take a step back, like almost 11,000 years ago, almost as far back as the last ice age. There are often controversies around human migration and the periods during which they occurred. Scientists recently sequenced the mitochondrial DNA of two 11,500-year-old infant children buried in Beringia and found rare haplotypes that cannot be found in the current local population. Instead, this haplotype was observed in the first ever complete mitochondrial genome of a 500-year-old Inca child mummy found in Argentina. This tells us that a genetically diverse population of humans migrated from Asia over the Bering Strait and into South America. That's far back. Let's go back even further in time, back to the Jurassic period. You know what I'm talking about, Jurassic World. Thermo Fisher Scientific loaned its ion proton sequencers during the production of Jurassic World. The ion protons housed in Dr. Hammond's lab were fictitiously used to sequence ancient dinosaur DNA. The data was then used to genetically engineer one of the movie's leading characters, the Indominus Rex. And although this is science fiction, moments like these that showcase the romanticism of science signals a society's basic understanding or at least appreciation of the basic biology that's shaping our worlds today. And that is what makes moments like these so special. In a more realistic approach to species conservation, our next moment takes us to the plains of Namibia, where Thermo Fisher Scientific recently donated an Applied Biosystems 3130 Genetic Analyzer to the Cheetah Conservation Fund, an organization dedicated to saving cheetahs in the wild. There, scientists use sequencing technology to better understand the genetic diversity of the cheetah population and their ecosystem in Africa, all to ensure their survival of this magnificent species. And while we're on the topic of conservation, another big sequencing moment comes from Dr. Samuel Vosser's lab at the University of Washington, who used Sanger sequencing to first map elephant populations by sampling elephant dung, and then map ivory sold in international markets to trace back to the regions where the elephants were poached. His research has given us first insights into the primary areas where elephants are poached. This could help combat ivory trafficking at its very source. In addition, such knowledge can be leveraged by law enforcement to focus on hotspots and potentially reduce illegal killings that happen today. Do you know what's in your herbal supplements? Well, this year, DNA barcoding was used to test the authenticity of 44 herbal products from 12 different companies. What was found was poor product quality, contamination, and um, fillers. Now this not only constitutes food fraud, but according to the World Health Organization, is a threat to consumer safety. Luckily, sequencing was there to bring this story to light. Speaking of threat, Thermo Fisher Scientific partnered with a specialized bacteriology reference lab at the CDC, helping provide public health laboratories with easy access to the microbridge reference database to quickly identify microbes that may cause outbreaks. This may allow public health care labs easier, faster, more accurate detection of microbes and strains potentially responsible for outbreaks and epidemics. 
Now, a recent epidemic that made headlines was the Ebola outbreak in West Africa, killing over 11,000 people. Fortunately, people like Dr. Ian Goodfellow of the University of Cambridge were there to make the heroic journey to Sierra Leone to better understand the virus in real time. Ion PGM technology was there to help Dr. Goodfellow better understand the virus as it wreaked havoc across the continent. What's interesting is that Dr. Goodfellow had never used a sequencer in his lab before, and it signals the wider adoption of sequencing to better serve humanity. With the recent launch of the Ion S5, we've come one step closer to providing solutions with simplicity. When combined with the Ion Chef, this system makes targeted sequencing super simple. It can handle three different chips and can take on various sample throughputs without compromising on your budget. Because of this, the system was also featured as one of the top 10 innovations of 2015 by a panel of judges at The Scientist magazine. As we move closer to realizing the future of genomic and personalized medicine, sequencing is a technology that's truly evolving these fields, pushing the limits of scientific research. Now, I know it's a short list and obviously we can't get to everything, but I'm sure you accomplished some amazing things in 2015. And for that, we thank you. Now, if we missed anything, let us know in the comments section wherever you find this video. And of course, if you want to dive deeper into the stories we mentioned, just follow the links. And of course, join the conversation. Also, be sure to share this video. Until next year, bye.